What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Last time we had a couple of really crazy fights. And now I guess we, uh, we kind of continue on. Um, actually, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to rest or not. I kind of want to use, you know what, you're going to get, you're going to use the tea just in case. And my cleric is going to use the mana potion just in case. I, I may not need to, but... What? How? Eat them all. Me eat friends? No way. You diminished me into a funny NPC for a bunch of side quests. Terrorists have feelings too. I don't care about your feelings, monster. Bite them. Me bite you instead. Ouch, you, you really bit me. Only small bite. You still here. But fight over now. Me have places to be. I guess it's really over. I'm sorry, gang. I got a little carried away. I just didn't want to let go of first edition because I have fond memories of campaigns past, with friends from long ago. All the way back to my first campaign in Xeroth, I felt like going to second edition would erase the happy past. Hey, no explanation needed, pal. We all had fun. But you guys really like second edition, huh? We'd like to give it a try, but we'll game with you in any edition. Oh. Thanks to you, Paperos is safe again. Boring, let's have a party. You buy a party hat? Is this a RuneScape joke? Bah, hats are stupid. A captain is nothing without his hat now. Who ninja mine? I'm not a ninja, what's wrong with you people? So, um... They keep calling me a cheap combination monster. Look who's talking, I'm <laughs> a freaking chicken bear. At least you got to keep your face. I just wonder what color of hat goes with this face. To be or hat to be. Oh, I never saw the B holder, huh? K -k -k combo breaker. Hat combo so OP, nerf hats. What is this, Team Fortress 2? One more line about hats and I'm done. Curses. Hatter's gonna hat. So, in the end of last... Technically, what would have been last episode, I said that I was ending the episode, and then I'm not going to be ending the episode. Because this is just the credits. I wasn't sure how much tomorrow it was gonna go on, so, uh... Yeah, wow. Uh, Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Just a really quick review, I guess, technically. A++, would recommend. Um, the references in it are great. I didn't even get to all of the side quests. I'll probably just do that in my spare time. I kind of mentioned at the beginning of last episode, technically this episode, that the viewership on it is just down, and I don't think um, doing side quests is really going to help that. So if you want to check out the side quest for yourself, feel free. I highly, highly recommend Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Anyways, my name's Nagark, and I guess that's the end. Let's hit let's hit this skip button and see what happens. Hero's Journey, Spawn Point Village. That's it. It just puts you back in and then you get to go about and uh do Why is there a quest here? Hold on. Why is there a quest there? Hmm? If you don't mind me asking, why is there a freaking quest there? No, this is... This is bull. Why is there a quest here? Secret. While traveling, a curious sparkle in the bushes catches your eye. Is it vampires? <sighs> Upon closer inspection, you find a magical lamp. Freedom at long last. Give us three wishes already. Kids these days, fine, but you'll only get one. Gold, magic, wish for more wishes, uh, pink troglodytes. Wish for more wishes. Not that one, no! A giant loophole appears and sucks in the genie. I win. I beat it. I beat the genie. I beat the genie. Well, first off, let's look at the shop. No, those items aren't there. What? A new menace? What? 
Now that we're done with that edition stuff, there's a cool campaign I want to try out. That sounds good. But be warned, it's only for high level characters. Ha, huh, our levels are so high you can see them from the moon. I don't think that makes any sense. Anyways, bring it on. Alright, here goes. You see a crowd of people gathering at the village gates. So the game continues. So it's so weird. I said that I was ending the last episode, and then I did, and then... I started this one, and I said I was going to tack it on to the end of the last one, but I guess if this keeps going on, I'm not going to tack it on to the last one. Oh, my brain. I'll go check out what the fuss is about. Pushing through the people, you see a badly injured man lying on the ground in the middle. The monster, the plains of Knoll. What happened? I barely escaped. What monster is that? Can't say. The man dies. So, shall we go and say this can't say? Sounds like a quest to me. To the plains of Knoll. Why would they put credits? I thought the game was over. Roar. I fight the can't say arg. There's no one by that name here. What? You know what we mean. We cannot be named, cannot be targeted, such as the law. Well, what is it called? It is the unpronounceable horror. Only one who knows its true name can defeat it. Hey, you said one. Yeah, about that. We had a reform. You have to move with the times, right? Oh, good for you, I guess. Can I go now? Sure, we'll visit you later. So, what's this about the true name? Can you tell us what it is? Alas, I'm not privy to such information. Curses, I mean duh. It is such that the ancient order of the Munchkin knows it. Aha! What? Order of the Munchkin. You wish to find the Order of the Munchkin, yes. It can be a long and perilous journey. Long and perilous is my middle name. Mine's Tracy. No, it's not. Very well, they are rumored to dwell in Big Town. What? That's practically in the neighborhood. It's beyond the wall. Everything there is distant and scary. Not much of a tourist, are you? Well then, let's go. I don't get it! Why would you do credits? I still didn't get a new magazine either. How do you plan to find the Order of the Munchkin? Rough up, people. Finally, I get to put my interrogation skills to use. I'm not sure if that's a good... Interrogation, sabotage, intimidation. Like a cartload of monkeys on acid, you unleash your player character...ness on Big Town. I think it's safe to say it doesn't end very well. Yeah, but these are all chumpkins! Look at this, watch. Do you see how much damage they take? These are all chumpies. Admittedly, there's a lot of them. I don't even have to really do a whole lot. I should have attacked this one. There, you're gonna get burned and that's gonna be like a billion of your health. Go on. Just let me hit ya. Hit. 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 They're all wimpy! Fireball you, cause you're, I guess, the strongest one now. Uh-huh. Hit. Hit. We roughed him up. Give me my info. Got a shuriken. A uh, fireball, yeah. Why not? That's what I've been doing this entire time. Specialist. Wait, hold on. Assign 15 skill points to a single skill. Yes, I did. At least we got some loot. Ugh. <sighs> By an amazing stroke of luck, one of them is carrying a calling card for the Order of the Munchkin. You come upon a small door in a back alley. I knock on the door. The door opens and a large man appears. I told you I'd be back. Only personnel with a proper level of prowess may enter. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. Uh, well, it's, uh, Conan. Conan Schwarzenegger. Um, a contest of physical and or arcane might is an accepted way of providing proof of one expertise. Okay. Attacking twice is not fair. You don't do that. He has 588 health also, jeez. They just 
pumped HP into these things. Don't, don't do that. Attack him. Wow, so much for freaking weakness. Heal you up. And get us done. Nice. So you know that entire turn that you wanted to take a second ago? Not happening. Just softening all of them up. Another 99 damage. Kind of. I uh, get my threat up. He's dead. Just attack. Go for the triple strike on um, Conan back there. I'm really curious where the B holder is, though. Wow. You don't know how rude that was, do you? Just attack him. Should be fine. He should be dead. No, he saved off of the, um... He saved off the burn. Like a jerk. Just gonna go for the triple strike, even though I'm not in Vanish. I wonder if uh, 15 is the max ranks that you can put into something, now that I think about it. You do no damage because you go <laughs> go after him. Just gonna fix you up. Kind of important there. Uh, just attack. Jeez. Stop. Fireball, that's gonna really hurt him. Just attack. I think just attacking is gonna kill. Yeah. We did it. Ring of Mind, okay. Now let's do a little bit of resting while we're safe in Big Town. Yeah. Now tell us the true name of the unpronounceable horror. Only the acolytes of higher level are trusted with that information. If you're not here to join our ranks, please leave. Oh, then we would like to join. Can we do it now? Your level of skill is satisfactory for our novice position in the order. You may pass. I wish school exams were this fun. I still haven't ever got this, which is kind of funny. Uh, bigger AoE. Power of the Montage. You have begun your trainings, training in the Order of the Munchkin. Days pass as you hone your skills in martial arts and adventuring expertise. I think this calls for a montage. Yes, montage time. Well, uh, dun dun dun. I'm lifting weights. Boxing. Definitely boxing. Kung Fu on top of an angry bear. Levitating on top of a mountain while studying tons of books. Uh, yes, you're all feeling very trained, but dancing on spikes while fighting three dragons. But what? There's a proper way to do this, too, a mechanical way. To train novices, we have captured some unspellable abominations for you to train with. So I have to go to the steam flats again. Okay. I still don't know why they did credits. It just doesn't make sense. I found a sigh. Uh, kill five Zoggoths in one of our battles. I can only add one. Moonbeast Zoggoth. Lava Burst. At the beginning of each round, the party is inflicted with burn two resist senses. How much health does it have? Not a lot. Ah, the freaking burn is annoying though because it just knocked off her vanish. Eh, a stun is cool. Heal up the burns. Oh, right. It's not gonna matter because it's just gonna do it again. We'll just attack it. It's gonna be dead. I have to do this five times? That's a lot of times. Yeah, I can only add one. That's really annoying. <laughs> Just 
attack. You just attack. See if I can get this done. No, do the triple strike. Something. An attack. Just about halfway dead. Yeah, just hit him. Uh, just nuke him. And then you're dead. Three more times. The quest of patience here. Just hit him. Smack him. So for some crits here. Not even one. Um not not entirely surprised to be entirely honest. Even though her crit chance is high, she's really bad at critting. And a round of attacks will kill it. I wish I could fight five of these at the same time. That would be awesome. That would be superb. Come on, just hit someone. There we go. That's how you do it. Five, five crits. I don't know why I keep saying five crits, but I do. I want five crits. Boom. I have tons of gold. I'm just waiting to see what items unlock. Just smack it. It's gonna hit me back. Thank you. And you're dead now. Go on, you're dead now. Perfect. One more. This is so silly. I don't know why. Just why. Hey, you saved. Nice. One crit. Two crits. Three crits. Wow. Wound 48. That's, that's a lot of wound. Just gonna attack. And just attack some more. We did it. Okay, complete the training. Yeah, we did it. Go to Big Town. We got it. Nailed it. Wow, just barely made that one. These travel rolls are not very threatening anymore. Yeah, we made all of them. Congratulations, you have completed your novice training and now are a full member of the Order. Never knew being a munchkin would feel this good. Okay. The first mission. So now that we're members, what do we do? Do we get, like, missions? And when are you going to tell the- to tell us the name of that monster? Patience, young munchkins. To defeat the unpronounceable horror, you need- you first need to destroy its minions. How do we do that? Based on the data in our house- our Based on the data our in-house oracle has collected, there's a surge of monstrous activity in the Mountains of Accent. Handy, those oracles. Okay, we'll go to the Mountains of Accent. Ah, uh, really? Oh well, this should be an easy fight still. Like, pretty, pretty easy, actually. Yeah. Then we are going to do the fireball on Mr. Big Ugly back there. Ouch. Wow, you actually stunned, too. Attack him. Alright, you jerk. You can just kindly not do that anymore. Uh, I'll heal up the stuns and all of that. I don't want my turns to be skipped. If I can avoid it. Kill him. Kill him. Easy peasy. Now let me go back to the Mountains of Accent. 
I swear if I failed that one too. We did it. Uh, Ring of Senses, okay. Found junk. I like this fresh mountain air. By the way, what are these... Why are these called the Mountains of Accent? It was back in old days before the great graphics revamp when these mountains resembled accented characters. You know, ah, ah, ah. Sometimes those dots fell from the mountains. There was nothing more terrifying than a dot of lanch. Aha! Oh, aha ha, scope your foots. We well note... Let... Wait. Ahaha. Ha. Scope your foot. We will note let yoke middle in our planes any frustration. Weren't those guys the silent monks or whatever? They sound like an epic autocorrect failure. Uh, can I use my lore to find out who they are? They are the unintelligible brotherhood. They used to be the silent brotherhood, and now they're trying to speak for the first time. I like them better when they were silent. What did they want? I'm afraid their further dialogue doesn't make any more sense. I can speak chaotic, would that help? <laughs> yes, their language resembles the chaotic language you stole from a previous edition. They are the ones who summoned the unpronounceable horror, and obviously don't want you to defeat it. I suggest we teach them a very intelligible and violent lesson. What even? These are displacer beast, um, things. Are, are they displacer beasts? I know, it's like a dog or cat-like creature that has tentacles coming out of their back. Um... Night Stalkers? I think that's the Fallout version of them. I, I have to see what their name is so I can figure it out. It's a D&D &D monster. Yeah, D&D. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I didn't do the weakness one like I thought I did. Whoops. Uh, don't care about the weakness. I'm trying to figure out why an old computer, um, screen... What that has to do with these monsters. I figured it would give me a hint to their name, but I honestly just can't remember. Nuke that one. Nuke the D. I'm all about the D. And D down. <laughs> Still love the music so much. Wow. If we could not do that, that would be spectacular. I would really appreciate you not doing that. Blow this thing up. Uh, just attack that. Just attack that. Just attack it. Like, come on. We've got- ah, oh, really, you saved? You are such a D. I got a piggy bank. Okay, what are those monsters called? I can't fight them on my own. Well, we're gonna rest up right there, and I guess I'm gonna wrap it up. I... The beginning of this episode was such a mess, and I'm sorry. But my name is Ningark, this is Knights of Pen and Paper 2, and thank you for watching.